श्रद्धे स्वामी नंदात्मा जानंदा ऑफ श्री रामा कृष्णा मठम श्री सूर्यन अय्यर श्री अजयन नंबूदरी डॉक्टर पी वी विश्वनाथन नंबूदरी श्री नारायण शर्मा श्री मनोज कुमार एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव डायरेक्टर ऑफ दिस टेंपल ऑल पीपल हु आर एसोसिएटेड विद दिस प्रोजेक्ट हु हैव हेल्प्ड इन प्रोड्यूसिंग दिस ग्रेट बुक सनातन सुधा सहोदरी सहोदरन मारे एल अवर कुमेंडे वंदनम इन द बिगिनिंग आई मस से दैट आई एम रियली एशेम्ड ऑफ माई सेल्फ दैट आई एम नॉट एबल टू टॉक टू यू इन मलयालम लैंग्वेज एंड वाइल वेन I will speak few sentences I will have to look at the paper uh, so I am not really proud of myself uh, sorry forgive me for my inability to communicate with you in the language which you speak but few lines I will say in Malayalam मुवाट्टु पुला तिरुव पिलाविल महादेवा क्षेत्र तिले वेदा उपनिषद विज्ञान विचारा सदसिने अभी संबोधना चैयान अतियाया संतोषम उन ई विज्ञान विचारा सदस संगा डिपिच्चा सनातना स्कूल ऑफ लाइफ नुम गीता प्रचारा समिति कुम तिरक्के काटे स्वामी आर मठत्ति नुम एंडे अभिनंदनम केरला काशी एन्ने अरियप्पे डुन्ना तिरुवुम पिलाविल महादेवा क्षेत्र तिल एंडे आद्या संदर्शनम आण इविडे वरानुम सनातना धर्मा पिचारा करे काननुम साधि चातिल चारितार्थ्यम उंड वेदा पंडितनुम प्रभाषा कनुम आया डॉक्टर पी वी विश्वनाथ नंबूत्री सनातना धर्मा प्रचारणातिन नलकुन्ना सेवनम वलुताण अदेहतिंडे सनातना सुधा एन्ना पुस्तकम वाईचु वलरे इष्ट माई मात्र मल्ला बहुमान्य प्रधानमंत्री बहुमान्य उपराष्ट्रपति एन्नी वर के पुस्तकम सम्मानिक कानुम साधिचु प्राचीन कालम मुतल मानवा राशि नईच्छा अरिविंडे दीपंगल आण वेदा उपनिषत्तु कल वेदा उपनिषत्तु कल मता निरपेक्षम आण अवा एतु देशत्तुम एतु कालत्तुम एतु जनता क्यों पिर्सक्ता वुम आण वेदा उपनिषद पठनम प्रोल साहिपिकान ई विज्ञाना विचारा सदासिन साधि कट्टे इन्ने आशम सिकुन्नो नाउ इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग थ्रू द प्रिपेयर्ड स्पीच i am so i was so deeply impressed by this book that i would like to speak 
what I feel strongly about the book. First, it should be clear to all of us and to the whole world why I consider this book so important that Indian civilization, Indian culture is primarily The roots are in spirituality, adhyatmikta. You live here very close to the village where Adi Shankaracharya was born, Kalari. You will read at so many places here in so many speeches that more than thousand years back when India was politically fragmented, even in 1947, there were more than 600 states in India apart from the British areas. So India was totally fragmented in political terms. Thousand years back, a young man from Kerala goes around the country and gives a powerful message. And the message was that this con continent may be politically fragmented but spiritually and culturally, this land is one entity. We say, he established four muds in different parts of the country and established that unity. No. Buildings do not create unity. Ideas create unity which are what he did to convey the message. Message is not conveyed howsoever magnificent a building you make. It does not convey any message. Ideas convey the message. He selected four Mahavakyas from the four Vedas and gave one Mahavakya to each of these four muds. Ahem Brahmasmi, Tattvamasi, Pragyanam Brahma, I am Atma Brahma. All the Mahavakyas practically having the same meaning. You are not this body. Who am I? I had very thick black hair when I was young. If those hairs were mine, where have they gone today? Why they have, why they have become white? It means those black, I am not those black hairs. I was not using glasses to read when I was young. Where are, if eyes are mine, then how come that now I have to, where those eyes have gone? Now I am using glasses to read some book. Then question is, who am I? I am I this body of mine? No. The whole world thinks that I am this body of mine. India's message is, you are not, if you feel you are your body, then you are victim of avidya. Mano buddha hankar chittani naham. 
न च श्रोतृजिवे न च घ्राणनेत्रे न च व्योम भूमि न तेजो न वायु चिदानंद रूपा शिवोहम शिवोहम आई एम नीदर मन नॉर बुद्धि नॉर चेत आ एम चैतन्य आत्मा एंड ऑल द सिक्स स्टेंजाज ऑफ दैट शतक दैट कंपोजिशन ऑफ शंकर दे कन्वे द सेम मैसेज एंड दिस इज नॉट दिस मैसेज इज नॉट एज ओल्ड एज शंकराचार्य भगवान राम ऑन द ईव when he was going to leave ayodhya for the forest in the evening the younger brother lakshman lost his cool and he used harsh harsh language insulting language against his own father holding him responsible for all the ills and afflictions which they are going to go through bhagwan ram listened to him careful with patience did not interrupt him and then he replied to him in just two lines daho mitiya buddhir vidya sa pir kir tata na ham dehashchi datmet buddhi vidyate bhannete lakshman your problem is you feel that you are this body because if there is any pain there is any affliction there is any hurt it is only the body which feels it now for next 14 years we will be in forest enduring all kind of difficulties but those difficulties will be experienced by our body sharir and those who think this is what bhagwan ram says those any person who thinks that i am this body that person is victim of avidya and what is vidya vidya is when you realize when i realize that i am not this body this body is changing all the time nothing permanent about my body even the time which we spend in this hall there will be changes in our body which we cannot perceive there will be changes in the universe but there is something in something integral to us atma so those who who realize that i am not this body i am chaitanya atma they they really possess vidya they possess knowledge this is the message of india last 15 august prime minister talked about five principles and one of them to my mind most important become aware of your cultural heritage we are we have inherited a great heritage but to rest in the consciousness that we have inherited something unique is fatal no just we see quietly all our great rishis and sons they have achieved so many things so now we can just feel proud that this is our heritage this is our possession no every day you wash your body and if it is more if the weather is very warm in summer then you wash twice every day you clean your house if you do not clean your house it may be a magnificent building but after some time you won't like to enter the house 
so is the case with manas why because we are sitting here everybody is thinking about this book in the evening you go to a marriage function you will forget everything about it tomorrow you attend some funeral then you will be obsessed with the transitory nature of the world human beings are like that they need to be reminded ismaran you just can't sit quiet thinking that oh everything is there in the books no we need to remind ourselves again and again and that alone is not sufficient we must understand and realize this the importance of this heritage and when we we fully realize it then our effort should be to internalize that message the whole world is not going to understand our heritage through the books nobody has time today but the way we behave if we internalize this message then our behavior our conduct will our life will be will become source of inspiration to others and then they will they will realize that they live such good life because of their what they have inherited from their earlier generation and then they will become interested to study these books and as i said that all depends on good life that you live exemplary life model life in upanishad there is a dialogue what is the essence of good life then before the rishi answers the question there is a thunder clap da 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 so rishi says to his disciples have you got the answer sir you have not spoken anything yet no the answer has come from the heavens da 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 that is the essence of good life the first da is dam you should be in total control of your sense organs they should be reined in they can't be allowed to be let loose we have so many books so many commentaries so many views that even dharmraj yudhishthir got confused and he asked uh, bhishma pitame that there are so many so many views which one i should follow ahinsa parmo dharma sadachar parmo dharma uh, daya dharma so many things which have been param at the top there can be only one thing but there are so many things so which is the which is the uh, then the then then uh, our rishis they settled the issue they said at dharmasse vidhayay neko yeve prokta maharshi bhi swam swam vigyanam ashrite दमस्ते श्याम परायणा धर्म इज नॉट कमिंग हेयर दे से दैट सो मेनी थिंग्स हैव बीन सो मच इंपॉर्टेंस हैज बीन अटैच टू सो मेनी थिंग्स दैट शुड बी पार्ट ऑफ अवर बिहेवियर अवर कंडक्ट बट द हाइएस्ट एमोंग देम इज दमस control over your sense organs indri indriya nigra is that right indriya nigra 
restraint, control over your senses. Damaste sham parayana. So he said, first da is damas, dam. And second is dan. What is dan? Something which you give to somebody who is poor, who is deprived, who is less endowed, then you are. But it should not be done in a condescending manner, as if you are doing a favor to that person. No, Indian culture does not allow that thing. What our rishis have said, Atmam Sarveshu Bhuteshu Bhutat Manam Kirta Layam Archai Dan Manabhyam Maitri Abhinen Chakchusha. Basically, the blessings which you have, the possessions which you have, the fortune which you have, it may not only be material, even your knowledge, your sagacity. The noble sentiments which you have, when you share that material prosperity and noble feelings with those who are less endowed than you. And how it should be done? Maitri abhinayin chakshusha. As if that person is intimately an intimate friend of yours. You are doing no favor to him. This is our heritage. This is the message of India. Daan is not something which can be viewed as a favor being done to somebody. No. The dignity of human being must be established and must be respected. And that person who is receiving something from you in no manner that person should feel, should have any sense of inferiority while receiving favor from you. And you should not have any sense of superiority when you do that favor to that person. These are the, this is, Upanishad says, these are the essentials of good life. And what is the third da? Third da is dan. No, dan I have already said. Third da is daya. Compassion, empathy, samvedana, karuna. You should have that bhav of karuna for all living beings, not just human beings. In other democracies which are politically much older than ours, women were not given the right to vote. Why? Because Europe believed that women, black people, animals, plants, they do not have soul. They do not have atma. And therefore we have a right to exploit them to use them, they can't be equal participants. India at the time of independence, the literacy rate, if I remember correctly, was only 17%. Yet we started with universal suffrage. Our women did not have to struggle to secure voting rights. Why this happened? Because our leaders were more great than others? No. It happened because our culture insists that not only women and men, but animals, plants, insects, everybody has a soul. And we are all spiritually connected. If you can be connected through the smartphone with the whole world, the God cannot create, can, cannot connect you through Spirituality, we have, we can know 
each one of us from our own personal experience that if you do good to somebody that good returns to you if you do evil to somebody then ultimately that evil hurts you is it an ordinary message which other civilization or culture has this swami vivekananda rightly said india has something to give to the world and if i quote swami vivekananda he said what is the purpose of life to seek happiness he said if that is the goal of my life then what prevents me from making you unhappy so that i can be more happy nothing prevents me if i have the power i will snatch things from you to make my life more comfortable and to make your life miserable then he was asked then what is the purpose of life he said the purpose of life is tapa swadhyay nirittam ever devoted to the acquisition of knowledge and what is the purpose of knowledge purpose of knowledge is to develop the ability each person sitting in this hall there may be few brothers also there may be few sisters also but children born of the same pa parents they do not look alike they do not think alike their tastes are different even the clothes which they wear they have different taste so swami ji says one who develops the ability to see the underlying unity behind this apparent diversity that is the purpose of gyan so kama yata bahusyam pirja ye ye thi in times gone by the supreme spirit decided that i should become many fold to create my pirja we say unity in diversity but actually is it, it is diversity from unity we all have come from the same source the reason i fell in love with this book there is a om purnamada purnamidam very famous uh, rigvedic sutra it so happened that when i opened the book first time i went to that page and i have i have read that that sutra so many times only to understand the meaning of that sutra somehow i was not satisfied i could not fully comprehend but what a what a brilliant job dr nambutri has done he has given the simile of the teacher and the student the teacher when he imparts knowledge to her or his students then the knowledge which he has he gives it to others but his own personal knowledge does not diminish does not decrease and it 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 hit me like a bullet hey, what a wonderful explanation and honestly from that moment i fell in love with this book and that is why i requested them that you india has a message to convey and this book can become a very effective instrument to convey that message and i requested him that we should organize some meetings and i have already i have already made this request 
that organized one seminar in Raj Bhavan also for the benefit of the people of Tervinda. I give no words can adequately express my appreciation, my admiration for the book and its author and translator and all those who are associated with, with this project. And this place where we are meeting, that in itself is the message of India. We are two Brahmins going on pilgrimage to Kashi and one of them sees a sick cow and he stays back, he, he, he cancels his journey. He looks after, he nurses, he is able to restore the health of the cow. He was going to Kashi but when he does this, the Lord of Kashi comes here. What a wonderful message. In fact, this is small, this is small anecdote is so powerful to convey the message. Deho Devalaya Jivo Prokto Prokta Jivo Sadashiva. For us Indians, God is not somewhere up there. We are animated by Atma and Paramatma, Atma is self and Paramatma is deeper self. Ah, what a wonder, what wonderful four lines Adi Shankaracharya has said. And with that I shall conclude because I have already taken more time. Eta vupadhi para jiva yotsayo samyang nirase na paro na jiva rajyam narendrase bhatase khetka istayor pohe na bhato na raja. He says, that once you become Chaitanya Atma, you realize the supreme truth, then Par and Jeev, these are only Upadhis, they, are, they become one. Paramatma and Atma, they become one. And then the last two lines, he gives the simile, like, I mean, he has used the word Narendra. I say, I'm, I'm, I'm governor of Kerala state. There are people who are serving in my office. There are security people who stand at the gate, inside and at the gate also. So what, what uh, Adi Shankaracharya is saying? He is saying, Rajyam Narendra se bhatase khetka. The, the, the Narendra, the Raja, one who is holding power, and the Dwarpal who is sitting at his gate, these are only titles. Remove the uniform and the title, and there is no difference between the governor and an ordinary policeman. <laughs> this is the message of India. And sir, you have done wonderfully. I mean, I do not have words how to praise this. Thank you very much, Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir.